and um, we do have the world and the three of cups three of water in this deck so something has ended only to begin once again it does look like a reconciliation it does look like a happy um, energy but also the world and the three of cups is um, about you know the energy of a connection that um, ended but we remained friends right the world and the magician we are manifesting change we want something we want to take control over something we set out clear intentions to the universe to do something and the eight of pentacles work 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 we are co-constructing right setting out intention but also doing the work that is required on ourselves the magician is also work Six of Cups, right? Working on manifesting love and soulmate bond and emotional fulfillment with the Six of Cups. It's also an energy of reconciliation and wanting and uh, manifesting somebody from the past and the High Priestess, yeah, more spiritual practices. Beautiful. Anyways, let's see the bottom of the deck for the overall energy for this time the last week of march as we said but again time is fluid so we do have ace of wands new beginnings we do have the emperor might be an aries we do have the page of wands and we have yourself so if this is not about passion with another fire sign or passion and sensuality and playfulness and a little bit of control, I wonder what this is. And I love your energy on the bottom of the deck as the overall energy because we know this is you. We know this is your reading. We know you'll have a big um, new beginning with the Emperor and the Ace of Wands. I mean, it's like um, kind of like the jackpot kind of energy. Page of Wands. Messages of passion, uh, new beginnings, the spark, the chemistry, the flirt, the all that comes with um, a new beginning. So beautiful overall energy. I wonder if we should stop the reading here or not. What do you say? <laughs> I'm joking. So for go past energies on your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual energies. Let's see the current energies on your side. The person you are dealing with and mutual energies and let's see the possible outcome so we have possible outcome on your side the person you are dealing with and mutual energies bottom of the deck five of wands with the ace of cups we are conflicted about an emotional experience a passionate experience and the messenger of water this is the uh, page of cups um yeah we have pages but we have ace of cups i'm gonna take it because i so love this we have new beginnings uh without a shadow of, of a doubt um virgo um something new is coming your way we do have i'm picking up the energy of somebody who welcomes a good change a wonderful change manifested but also a little bit um kind of uh i don't want to say forced but the emperor might be you know might be that now, we're going the past you on this person. Uh, on your side, we do have the Queen of Wands. Might be an Aries Leo Sagittarius that you are dealing with. We have Aries twice so far. And the Two of Pentacles. They, make you, they made you, they've made you choose, struggle, juggle, um, do something that you are not willing to, uh, made you feel tired a little bit, um, doing a lot of work. To keep this connection in balance while staying beautiful and sexy that's the queen of wands it's the energy of passion is the energy of uh, being social always ready to party kind of energy but might also be this person this energy of this fire sign all over your energy keeping you kind of on your toes a little bit right and being cautious and doing a lot of work and taking extra responsibility and making sure that everything is up and running um you know um and um, kind of working properly i would say because two of pentacles is successfully juggling right it's not any kind of it's really keeping everything up and running 
Now, interesting, they are mirroring you in the past, Virgo. This person has the Ten of Wands, the energy of responsibility and burdens. Maybe they were working too much. Um, and for some of you, they might uh, have been manifesting abundance, uh, work. Uh, the magician is trying to change something in their life. Maybe when they came into your life, they uh, were actually, um, you know, trying to shift like one, a 180 kind of shift. Um, and they were focused on themselves. And this is kind of why uh, they felt like they were burdened by I'm sensing more responsibility, honestly, Virgo. Um, so I don't know if, um, let's say around your household, this is how it feels, but again, right? You take only what resonates it. Um, that kind of discussion where, um, you know, it's like, yeah, I'm doing this. Yeah, but you're, you know, I'm doing that. And there is also this, who's putting more effort into it and who's doing uh, more and keeping scores a little bit of, you know, who's doing the dishes, who's cleaning the house, and then who's bringing the kids to school, and and then who's cooking the food, you know, and we keep scores, and we have that kind of, yeah, but I do this, I do that, and and it's like a, a tennis match, you know, where we, you know, the ball is going from one to another. This is a little bit how it feels. I do love the Queen of Wands on your side. It's a beautiful energy of being mature about this, being passionate about this, um, understanding being a leader in, in this dynamic and I also love on their side the energy of the magician because somebody was manifesting something better within themselves um, that is an energy of um, making their life better and um, kind of also taking the steps required to but maybe it came with a bit of complaining this is how I feel mutual energies between the two of you King of Cups, we do have the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy, and we have the High Priestess. Um, I don't know if a water sign was between the two of you, um, and this is why we might have been a little bit, um, you know, um, heavy in terms of connection, in terms of relationship. And for some of you, um, High Priestess is the energy of silence, and because it's paired with the King of Cups, which is um, emotions and love, uh, in a big cup of love maybe um, you know uh, you are not expressing yourself they are not expressing themselves and that is this energy of silence and, and I, I'm not sensing secrets I'm just simply sensing um, you know um, bottled emotions or something that was not told and um, I don't know if it's about honesty or simply just the way we uh, do things you know um, on your side we do have your energy two of pentacles so this is about practicality and you know maybe focusing on everyday life on their side they were also taking responsibility maybe working a lot with the ten of wands and then in between there was a world of silence in terms of emotions in terms of how we feel in terms of what bonds us also this is how it feels so I'm just saying, this is what I'm picking up. But we now have a second chance of passion and, and emotions with the overall energy, but we'll see. So we're going right now, where are we? We do have the hangman. <clears throat> so stagnation, right? Things are not moving as we want them to. A breakup, probably. For some of you in love readings, hangman is really, um, you know, not talking. Separation, I need my time, I need my space. Yeah, I'll walk a mile in your shoes. But for now, you know, I'm kind of <clears throat> keeping quiet. And I also love the energy of the star because we are um, seeking for counseling. We are aligning ourselves. We are cleansing energies. We are having hope, um, staying positive. Um, and... You know, it's a divine work combined with a little bit of let me see where they come from. Let me see, understand. Let me observe them. Let, let me see what they are doing and maybe I'll change my mind. Um, I'm not sensing separation though. Uh, Virgo in this, maybe I'm picking up the energy of a Virgo in a, in a connection with somebody. But that is a sense of stagnation and a sense of, again, can be separation of course. But... 
um, the bond is not broken, if that was your question. Now, uh, Virgo, they are going through hell, this person of yours. Um, they do have the Five of Swords and they have the Seven of Swords. Um, shadows, conflict, right, in their mind. And maybe they had a conflict with you or in their own world, they might be conflicted. Seven of Swords, doubt, um, um, a form of deceit, maybe towards themselves in regards to how they behaved with you. Maybe they doubt you um, at this point um, and, um, and conflicted, conflicted. And it's the energy of the mind, right? Five of Swords, Seven of Swords is the energy of the mind. So kind of all over the place. And at the same time, you know what I'm hearing? It's like they're throwing blame. This is the Five of Swords, Seven of um um, seven of Swords, you know, like fighting with you because you deceive, so you are the one, so you are, you know, this is how it feels. Mutual energies between the two of you, two of ones and six of pentacles. Um, it's interesting because two of ones is the energy of crossroads and six of pentacles is the energy of balance. And I feel that this is really about yeah, we are at crossroads, and yes, we need to make a choice for our for our own sake, for our own balance, um, and it's um, simply just fair, you know, to go separate ways. This is how it feels right now. So somebody, somebody brought the energy around the table. I don't feel you are resisting it, and they don't resist it. It's really the energy of uh, peace of mind and. And finally having some um, some balance time, some quiet time. That's a six of pentacles with two of wands, the way I feel it right now. And um, and again, this... Um, I do believe it's for different reasons. Uh, this energy of, I'll finally have my peace. I'll finally find my balance. It would be fair for both of us. This is the energy. Six of pentacles, two of wands, right? Um... But it comes, its its source is, um, you know, kind of rooted in completely two different energies. One of the mind and the conflict and the uh, the blame that is uh, kind of thrown uh, out there. And on your side is a beautiful energy of spirituality, of lessons, of understanding, of expanding your mind. Um, cleansing energies, being aware, you know, that we engage with people and we take energies and then we enter dynamics. Uh, with people and I, I feel on your side is really that beautiful energy of awareness and I feel like saying disconnection but it has nothing to do with disconnection it's simply because I, I, I don't see you disconnecting with this person but I see you in um, on another level I would call it ascension I'm not sure just yet you know I, I but it, it is bettering your journey uh, towards where you need to be and the freedom you want to have you know um, and I'm not talking freedom from a person. I'm talking the freedom of the spirit, the freedom of the mind, um, not feeling chained in whatever life throws at you, you know, or your own mind. Now, moving forward, I just love this. Well, first of all, we do have the Page of Cups and we do have the Hierophant. So this is an offer of commitment. This is apologies uh, to keep the commitment going. This is I still have emotions for you and this marriage, this commitment is important, this relationship, this um, um, home that we have together, sense of home, sense of, um, you know, um, roots and um, a beginning of an, an emotional beginning. I do love the cups and I do love the pages and the aces because um, they speak the journey of I can express myself is of honesty of emotions and I'm a big believer that we have to tell it no matter how left and right might sound or completely inappropriate if this is how we feel you know we have to be honest about but again this is just my humble opinion and when I see cops it's like okay if we I mean the, the main point is love and the second is um we need to share it and speak to people about um, how we feel in all honesty, you know. Now, 
the person you are dealing with, they love you and they are passionate about you. As simple as that. We do have eight of wands with the lovers. Gemini energy awakened to a uh, soulmate connection. Eight of wands is Cupid's um, arrows. And wanting to get things moving and wanting to get things um, going. It's also a choice. Um, and I feel, Virgo, that you are dealing with somebody probably conflicted. They show up here in energies... I don't want to say going all over the place because it's too kind of it's bi-directional kind of we have them tired but we have them working with the magician we have them conflicted but we conflicted within themselves but then they they throw blame we have them um after that in the energy of love but then in the energy of choices so um you know they are uh, kind of trying to find themselves in the process but we always ask the questions, is there love, right? When we, when we shuffle, when we uh, place the cards, it's always, okay, what is the love energy? And they love this. And they love the bond that they have with you. And they are more and more, more, and more aware and willing to do something about it. And mutual energies, we do have the Page of Cups again and the Page of Wands. Uh, sorry, the Four of Wands. Um probably apologies I, I i do feel that somebody needs to say sorry and uh, it's interesting it's one in the same energy of commitment and emotional experiences apologies for whatever was um, done wrong to this marriage to this commitment to this foundation that you guys put together four of wands is the energy of a house of a home living together and uh, it's one and the same as on your side so I would expect apologies and new beginnings, Virgo, right off the bat, honestly. Uh, we started with Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups, Page of Wands, you know, a passion that is renewed, an emotion that is renewed. I do love the Aces that are all about communication. Pages are about communication and we have three so far. Um, so, yeah, yeah. Apologies and love, that's for sure. And new beginnings. Apologies and new beginnings. Or a renewed form of emotional experience with this person. Um, Virgo, let us have some romance angels and then we say goodbye. Don't think we need surrender cards. We'll see. We do have you deserve love. You are lovable. Just in case you forgot, Virgo. Yeah, of course, you know this situation. You know how uh, this connection feels. And we have romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. But love yourself first. You deserve love. Love yourself first and romantic feelings. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Uh, that is a double message there, Virgo. I, however this connection goes and however... And you know, this person wants to come your way. That is a double message. You deserve love. Make sure they love you honestly. And then love yourself first. Now let us have one surrender card and then we say goodbye. Um, surrender to inner peace. I love this because the star is exactly the inner peace we are talking about. Right? Aligning and staying at peace. Staying at, um, at ease in this. So cultivate inner peace on a daily basis. In quiet med meditative moments, focus on the stillness within and enjoy this inner refuge. Others will feel your good vibes too and your life will flow more easily. Amazing energy. That is guidance, inner peace. Just stay, right? Stay in the know. That's how we get the high priestess, right? Staying in the know. Um... So Virgo, this is all that I have for you guys. As always, please let me know uh, what you think. Please go wash your hands as often as you can. Um, stay safe. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and come see me next time. Love you. Take care. Bye.